Have you ever wondered what it feels like to walk amongst the ruins of an ancient civilization? Welcome to Rome, the Eternal City, standing tall as a testament to the grandeur of an empire that once ruled the world. A city that was born in the heart of the Roman Empire, Rome's roots reach deep into the annals of history, tracing back to the tales of Romulus and Remus, the twin brothers who, according to legend, founded this city. Now, imagine stepping into the Colosseum, an architectural marvel that has withstood the test of time. Picture the echoes of the gladiatorial contests and theatrical performances that once filled this iconic amphitheater. The Colosseum, with its intricate network of passages and tiers, is a magnificent reminder of Rome's historical prowess in architecture and entertainment. As we leave the Colosseum behind, we find ourselves in the Roman Forum, the bustling heart of the ancient city. This was once the epicenter of Roman public life, where triumphal processions, elections, and public speeches took place. The ruins whisper tales of the vibrant city life that once thrived here. Next, we ascend the Palatine Hill, where emperors built their palaces, looking down upon the city they ruled. This hill, steeped in myth and history, offers a glimpse into the opulent lives of Rome's most powerful figures. From there, we journey to the Vatican City, an independent city-state enclaved within Rome. Here lies the Sistine Chapel, home to Michelangelo's breathtaking frescoes, and St. Peter's Basilica, the world's largest church and a masterpiece of Renaissance architecture. The Vatican City, a beacon of art and religion, is a world within a world, nestled in the heart of Rome. Rome, a city where every corner whispers tales of a glorious past. A city that invites you to wander its streets, delve into its history, and immerse yourself in the echoes of an empire that continues to shape the world we live in today. Can you imagine a city gracefully floating on water? Welcome to Venice, the city that defies the ordinary and challenges the conventional. Established on a lagoon, Venice is not just a city, it's an enthralling experience, an architectural marvel, a testament to human ingenuity. Our journey begins on the Grand Canal, the main artery of Venice. This serpentine waterway, lined with more than 170 palaces, is the lifeblood of the city. It's not just a body of water, but a living, breathing entity, narrating stories of the past with each ebb and flow. Then we arrive at the Rialto Bridge, a structure that is as much a symbol of Venice as it's a testament to the city's architectural prowess. The oldest of the four bridges spanning the Grand Canal, the Rialto Bridge is a marvel of engineering and a beacon of resilience. It stands tall, not merely as a crossing, but as an emblem of Venice's enduring spirit. From the water's edge, we move to the heart of Venice to St. Mark's Basilica and St. Mark's Square. The basilica, with its opulent design and golden mosaics, is a monument to Venice's wealth and power during the Byzantine era. The square, a gathering place for locals and visitors alike, is a vibrant tapestry of life. It pulses with energy, echoing the rhythm of Venice, reflecting its soul. St. Mark's Basilica and St. Mark's Square have played pivotal roles in Venice's history. They've witnessed the city's rise to power, its triumphs and trials, its resilience and resolve. They are not just architectural marvels, they are the keepers of Venice's stories, the custodians of its past. As we delve deeper into Venice, we find a city that is both timeless and timely, both ancient and always new. It's a city that has embraced its unique geography, a city that has turned its challenges into opportunities, a city that has made the impossible possible. Venice, a city that mirrors the tranquil beauty of the lagoon it rests upon. Venice is not just a city, it's a world unto itself, a world that invites you to lose yourself, only to find yourself anew. Ever fancied a journey through the birthplace of the Renaissance? Welcome to Florence, the city that cradled the Renaissance and nurtured it into the world-changing movement we know today. This city is a veritable treasure trove of art, culture, and history, each street echoing with the whispers of a bygone era. Let's start with the Duomo, the Cathedral of Santa Maria del Fiore, an architectural marvel that has stood the test of time. The Duomo's intricate design is a testament to the ingenuity of its creators, its white marble facade adorned with a myriad of sculptures and reliefs. But it's not just about the exterior. Venture inside and you'll find a labyrinth of artistic masterpieces, each one telling a unique story. And let's not forget the panoramic view that awaits you at the top. After a climb of 463 steps, you're rewarded with a breathtaking vista of Florence, the Arno River snaking through the city, the Tuscan hills rolling into the horizon. From there we move on to the Uffizi Gallery, an art lover's paradise. 
This vast museum houses one of the most important collections of Renaissance art in the world. As you wander through its halls, you'll come face to face with works by the likes of Botticelli, Michelangelo, and Leonardo da Vinci. Each painting, each sculpture, is a window into the past, a glimpse into the minds of the artists who shaped the Renaissance. But Florence isn't just about grand cathedrals and museums. Take a stroll along the Ponte Vecchio, the city's oldest bridge. This unique structure is lined with shops, just as it was in the days of the Medici family. Jewelers, art dealers, and souvenir sellers all vie for your attention. Their wares a vibrant mix of the old and the new. And so we leave you with Florence, a city where art and history aren't just confined to museums. They're alive in the streets, in the buildings, in the people. They're in the very air you breathe. Florence, where art and history breathe in every corner. Curious about the hidden gems these cities hold? Let's embark on a journey off the beaten path and discover the unseen treasures of Rome, Venice, and Florence. These places, often overlooked by the hustle and bustle of tourists, hold a charm that is unique and enigmatic, offering a different perspective of these renowned cities. In the heart of Rome, away from the grandeur of the Colosseum and Vatican City, you'll find a nondescript door on Aventine Hill. A simple keyhole in this door provides a perfectly framed view of St. Peter's Basilica in the distance. This is the Aventine Keyhole, a hidden gem that blends architecture, nature, and a pinch of magic. It's a sight that leaves visitors awestruck, a secret whispered amongst travelers. Leaving the echoes of Rome behind, we find ourselves amidst the waterways of Venice. Known for its gondolas and the imposing St. Mark's Basilica, Venice has another treasure tucked away, the island of Burano. This island is an artist's dream. Burano is a palette of vibrantly painted houses reflecting onto the serene canals, a spectacle that is as enchanting as it is unique. Our journey concludes in the city of Florence, home to the Grand Duomo and countless Renaissance masterpieces. Yet, away from the crowded galleries is a haven of tranquility, the Rose Garden. Nestled on the hills of Florence, the Rose Garden offers stunning panoramic views of the city. Amidst the sweet scent of roses and the soft whispers of the wind, one can truly appreciate the splendor of Florence from a distance. These hidden gems offer a different lens through which to view these cities. They are a testament to the fact that the beauty of a place is not only about the famous landmarks, but also about the lesser-known corners that capture the spirit of the city. So next time you find yourself in Rome, Venice, or Florence, remember to seek out these unseen treasures. Unveiling the unseen enhances the beauty of the known. How about we take a virtual stroll through these cities one more time? Let's start with Rome, the Eternal City. Remember how we marveled at its timeless beauty, its ancient ruins standing cheek by jowl with modern buildings, a seamless blend of antiquity and modernity. We were captivated by the grandeur of the Colosseum, the magnificence of the Vatican, and the vibrant life of the Piazza Navona. Rome is not just a city, it's a living, breathing museum, a testament to the grandeur of a bygone era, a beacon of history that continues to enlighten the world. Moving on, we found ourselves in the midst of the floating city, Venice. We navigated its labyrinthine waterways, each turn unraveling a new vista of breathtaking beauty. The romantic allure of gondola rides, the iconic Rialto Bridge, the mesmerizing St. Mark's Square, all etched unforgettable memories in our hearts. Venice is not just a city, it's a dream woven in water and stone, a symphony of serenity and splendor. And then we arrived in Florence, the cradle of the Renaissance, where art and culture reign supreme. We admired the architectural marvel of the Duomo, the artistic treasures of the Uffizi Gallery, and the picturesque charm of the Ponte Vecchio. Florence is not just a city, it's a canvas painted with the colors of creativity and innovation, a masterpiece that continues to inspire the world. Through our journey we've traversed through time, experienced diverse cultures, and discovered the unseen treasures of these cities. Each city, with its distinctive character, offers an unparalleled experience. From Rome's historical significance, Venice's unique charm, to Florence's artistic heritage, each city has its own tale to tell. Three cities, each with its own tale to tell, waiting for you to be a part of their story.